joining in for a quick trade setup. Anuj, hi, good morning. It's been all over the place for the market. Little caution is definitely there in the system. But how are you feeling about things to come? Indeed, uh, Sonia, good morning. Nigel, morning. Uh, Prashant, morning. Good to have you back. Uh, well, uh, you know, uh, I'm expecting more volatility. Uh, and the single biggest reason for that is the US 10 year bond yield. Uh, if you see that, uh, that's been inching up. Uh, it's now gone up to 4.05. So it's no longer just a dead cut bounce. Uh, and uh, that's pushed back the expectations of rate cut from March, which perhaps was a bit outlandish, to something like June or July. Uh, but that's leading to some kind of volatility in the mother market. And that's uh, actually something which is visible in other markets as well, back home in India as well. Uh, and the January month is known for being volatile and it's living up to that billing. Uh, uh, now, two levels to track, uh, the series low and series high. 21,500 has been the series low and 21,834 has been the series high. My sense is the direction will emerge once you break either or either on the upside or on the downside. Let's see what happens. Uh, of course, earnings season is the next big queue. We have Infosys and TCS both coming out with numbers on Thursday, and then Wipro and HCL Tech on Friday. Uh, coming to levels then, on the Nifty, the levels I'm watching out for, first on the upside, 21,750, Friday's high, and 21,834, the series high, they lacked as some kind of resistance. And the support uh, on lower levels is placed at 21,629, Friday's low, and then of course, 21,500, the series low. I think it's the bank Nifty, which has again become a bit volatile, and that's where you have some selling as well, especially the way... Uh, 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 HDFC Bank reacted. Now, the first uh, support is 47,823 and then bigger support at 47,500. On the upside, 48,382 and 48,636 are the levels to watch. As I said, HDFC Bank's reaction to quarterly update uh, was actually quite poor. Uh, the way it ended almost at day's low. And ICICI Bank is the other big stock to track. It's repeatedly halting at this 20-day exponential moving average. So, you know, you need these two stocks to move for the bank. Nifty too. <clears throat> All right, Anuj, uh, thanks very much uh, for that. So that's basically uh, the uh, trade setup as Anuj sees it. Thank you for watching CNBC TV 18. For all the market action and news, follow us on our social media platforms.